In linear algebra, LU decomposition is used to solve system of linear equation. LU decomposition can be done using Kraut method or by Doolittle method. As we have discussed MATLAB code of Kraut method in previous video, so today we are going to write MATLAB code of Doolittle method. The method of solution for both Kraut and Doolittle is same, just the formation of matrix L and U is different. So firstly we will discuss the method and then we will discuss formation of matrix L and U in Doolittle method. So if we are given with a system of linear equation, we can write it in the form of matrix as AX equals to B. Next thing is to suppose A is equals to LU and by replacing A by LU in equation, we get LUX equals to B. Now we suppose that UX is equals to Y and by replacing UX by Y in equation, we get LY equals to B. So using the equation A equals to LU, we will find all element of matrix L and U. We can write LY equals to B as Y equals to L inverse B and using this equation Y equals to L inverse B, we will find the matrix Y. And the last step is to write UX equals to Y as X equals to U inverse Y. And using this equation X equals to U inverse Y, we will find the matrix X and this will be the solution of given system of linear equation. Now formation of matrix L and U. So in Doolittle method we have a unit lower triangular matrix L that is the diagonal entries are 1 and an upper triangular matrix U as you can see on the screen. Whereas in crowd method we have a unit upper triangular matrix U and the lower triangular matrix L. Now to solve the system of linear equation through MATLAB we will take size of matrix then matrix A then matrix B from user. We are going to start the code. So we have to take the size of area as input and I am using the variable n for that purpose. So we will use the statement input and then we have to give here some message like enter the size of matrix semicolon. Now next thing is to take input of matrix A. So firstly we will give a message on the screen using fprintf statement we will write here matrix A. So now, now we have to take the matrix A as input as we know that matrix is a two dimensional so we will use a nested loop outer one for number of rows and inner one for number of column. So we will use here for loop and uh, I am using the variable x that is from 1 to n because n is the number of rows and then the inner one for columns that is y equals to 1 to n again 1 to n because it is a square matrix. Now a the first element is x that is row and y representing the column equals to now we have to input, so I am using here the statement input and here will, I will give some message like enter an element, close and semicolon. Now this n for for loop, inner for loop and this n is for outer one. Now next thing is to take matrix B as input. So again, firstly I will print f printf matrix B. Here we will write matrix B. So semicolon close this semicolon. Now after that we have to take the input of matrix B and we know that matrix B is having only one column that is one dimensional. So we will use only one loop. So I am going to take here the variable A, looping variable A from 1 to n because there are n entries in matrix B and uh, I am representing it by capital B. The first entry is A and the second one is 1. Because A is the row and 1 is the column, there is only one column. And uh, we will take the values using input statement. And here I will write enter the element. We are done with the input. Now we will initialize the array x and y by 0. As we know that the size of array x is n cross 1. So I will write here zeros. Zeros is a built-in function that actually initialize the array by 0. 
so I will write here n comma 1 because there are n rows and there is one column so in the same way we will initialize the matrix y we are writing here zeros n comma 1 now after this we have to initialize l and u so l is the low triangular matrix and we are initializing it by zeros but it is a square matrix so that's why we will write n comma n here semicolon now after this we have to initialize u and uh, we are solving by Doolittle method so in Doolittle method the first row of u is exactly same as the first row of a so that's why I will initialize it by a now we need a temporary variable so I'm writing here flag and I'm initializing it by 2 because the first row of u is already filled so we have to start from the second row that's why I'm taking flag equals to 2 now to find the elements of matrix L and U, we have to use the nested loop. So I am writing here for loop. The outer one is B equals to 1, 2, N. So this is actually, uh, we will use this loop for column. We will find the elements of L and U column wise. The inner one is for rows and we are saying that row starts from flag. So I will use here a variable a equals to flag. The starting value is flag and the last value is n. Now the next thing, uh, now how can we find the element of L? So I am taking a temporary variable holder. So I will write here holder u a comma b divided by u this is a journal pattern for finding the values of b so i will write here b comma b because it is divided by the diagonal values and now l now we have to write here a comma b a row and b column is equals to holder we are assigning it a value so we are done with it to find the element of u again we will use a loop and the looping variable is c and loop from 1 to n. So now I have to write here u a row c is representing the column is equals to we will find the element of u recursively. So that's why I will ex uh, write exactly same that is UAC minus. Now we can observe a pattern in equation while solving U by hand and the pattern is holder multiply by U and in the bracket we have B comma C. You can observe this pattern by solving it by hand. Now this end is for this innermost loop for loop and now this end is for loop a and now we have to increment we have to give increment in the temporary variable that is flag so i will write flag is equals to flag plus one this is the increment in the temporary variable so here is the end for outermost loop now to make the diagonal entries of l as one we will use a for loop and uh, i will write for we can take any looping variable like i from 1 to n because there are n diagonal entries and we have to assign 1 to all diagonal entries. So I will write here i comma i comma um, bracket close is equals to 1. Now n for this loop and uh, to print a on the screen i'm simply writing a then to print l then to print u we'll simply write l and u as it is now we have to find the values of y using the equation y is equals to l inverse b so we will write it in this way y is equals to inverse inverse of l multiplied by matrix b so i and v as a built-in function to find the inverse of any matrix we are giving it the matrix l so it will find the inverse of l and after that it will be multiplied with the matrix b to get the values of y 
So after that we have to find the matrix X using the equation X is equals to U inverse Y. So we can write it as X is equals to inverse of U multiplied by Y. So now let's run the program and to check the output. This is a system of linear equation that we have to solve through MATLAB code. So there are three unknown variables. That's why the size of the matrix A is 3 into 3. And the solution of this system of linear equation is x equals to 1, y equals to 1, and z equals to 1. According to the given system of linear equation, we have the size of matrix 3. So I'm writing 3 here. Now we have to enter the elements of matrix A. The first one is 10. Then we have 1. Then again we have 1. Now the second row, the first element is 2. The second element is 10. The last element is 1. Now the third row, first element is 1. The second element is 1. The last element is 5. And now matrix B. The first element is 12. The second one is 13. And the last one is 7. So we can see the output. Firstly, this is the matrix A. That is 10, 1, 1, 2, 10, 1, 1, 1, 5. That is the input. Then we have the lower unit lower triangular matrix. We can see that its diagonal entries are 1. And then we have the upper triangular matrix U. We can see that its first row is exactly same as the first row of A. That's why in the code we have written U equals to A. Now after that, the matrix Y, that is 12, 10.6, 4.8. And at last we have the solution of given linear equation, that is the matrix X. All entries are 1. It means X is equals to 1, Y is equals to 1, and Z is equals to 1.